Hey everyone, did you know that you can get the BJU Press Heritage Studies and Science uh, curriculum, the video lessons for first, second, and third grade as a combo set? So let me tell you what I mean by that. You could go onto their website and purchase you know, first grade heritage studies video lessons for one price. Then you could go on and purchase the first grade science curriculum uh, video lessons for one price. Or if you scroll down a little bit farther, you will see a combo and you can get the heritage studies and the science together for the price of one. So it's kind of a two for one deal. The reason that they do that for first, second, and third grade is that the heritage studies uh, curriculum in first grade, second grade, and third grade is just one semester. And the science is another one semester course. Now, of course, once you get into fourth grade and up through high school, the science is gonna be a year long and the heritage studies is gonna be a year long course. So they, since each of these is only a semester course, they group them together in a combo set. Now you could just do one of them, um, but here's what I did this year. My kids were using a different curriculum, a different history curriculum I should say, for um, history. We did not use the heritage studies, but I did want to use the BJU Press science for first grade as well as for third grade. And I also got math um, for my first and third grader as well. But this video we're talking about science and heritage studies. So um, I wanted to get the science, the third grade science and the first grade science from BJU Press, their video lessons because my boys love them. But what I did was instead of just buying third grade um, you know, video lessons for science, I went ahead and got the combo set. And here's why. Yes, we're, I didn't plan on using the Heritage Studies um, curriculum this year, and you know, I had a different history curriculum, but my boys love the BJU Press Heritage Studies and Science videos so much. They're kind of like, for them, it's like just watching educational TV. So the way I used it is we used the science as our curriculum and the Heritage Studies was just kind of a bonus. And so on days when maybe I wasn't feeling well, I was sick, but I, and I wanted my boys to watch, you know, just an educational show, we just pop on the Heritage Studies videos and they're learning um, while I'm resting. So that was great. Also, when like, for example, my first grader was done with some of his independent work and I was still working with some of my older kids, he could go ahead and watch a Heritage Studies first grade video until I was ready to help them. Also, with the video lessons, you get 18 months access. And so that means that this summer, when we're having kind of our rest time in the afternoon, and I want the kids to watch an educational show, just give them a little bit of screen time, but I want it to still be educational, we can watch those Heritage Studies first grade and third grade videos, and my boys enjoy them. So that'll be a nice activity for them in the summer. And of course, I didn't have to pay extra for them because it comes in a two for one set. So I just wanted to let you know about that, especially since this video is going to be just kind of a look at and review of the BJU Press um, Heritage Studies and Science for first and third grade. I do wanna let you know just you know, full disclosure, BJU did send me, um, I did get the Heritage Studies and Science for first grade uh, for free, but I went ahead and purchased my own third grade Heritage Studies and Science set, as well as math um, video lessons for first and third grade as well. I purchased those with my own money. So just wanted to let you know. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you just a little bit about why I like BJU Press curriculum, um, what I like about their um, actual textbooks, what I like about the video lessons, and then I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna give you a look inside of the first grade science, the first grade heritage studies, the third grade science, and the third grade heritage studies. So, are you ready? We've got a lot to cover. 
All right, first off is what I love about BGA Press. I actually did a video um, of why I love BGA Press. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about that, but one of the big things that is really important to me is that my kids get a biblical worldview education. I don't want just Christian curriculum with verses sprinkled on top. I really want them to have to think critically from a biblical worldview about the things that they're learning, especially science and history. And so that's what I love about BJU Press. It emphasizes critical thinking, especially in the history and science, and it is from a biblical worldview. So that is just a huge, huge blessing and bonus for me with this curriculum. Now, in terms of their textbooks, um, one of the things that I love about their textbooks is that there is, there's beautiful pictures, you know, it's in color. Um, so it's very enjoyable for my kids. It's also the reading in here is grade level appropriate. So I don't feel like there's anything that's too challenging for them. And I don't feel like it's, you know, super babyish either. Each level is written, you know, first grade is written at a first grade level. And so, um, the content is just age appropriate. And so I, I love that and um, I know my boys enjoy that as well. And of course the colorful pictures. But here's the other thing that I love about the BJU Press textbooks. And this applies to their workbooks as well. That is that there aren't mistakes. At least I have not caught any mistakes in them. And I say that because there's a lot of other really good homeschool curriculum out there. I mean, I use other homeschool curriculum and I like those other homeschool curriculum companies, but I find so many mistakes in there. And it gets a little frustrating for me and my child when we are, um, you know, reading something and then they're answering questions and the an their answers aren't matching up to the answer key and things aren't lining up with what we read in the textbook and there's, you know, errors in spelling and you know a question an answer to a question was the wrong answer and then I have to go figure out and go look at the you know on the um, website of that particular curriculum company and see if there was mistakes that had been caught and it just it gets a little frustrating and so with BJU Press they have a huge team of people, not only writing the curriculum, but editing it, um, putting it together. So when you get it in your hands, you can be fairly confident that everything is going to be, or for the most part, everything is going to be accurate. It's going to have been looked over well. There's not going to be errors. And so, um, I like that with six kids right now that I homeschooled this last year. I just don't have the time to double check and triple check to make sure that what somebody wrote in the curriculum was accurate, if it was you know, a spelling mistake, if they meant to write one word and they wrote another and, and all of that. So that's one thing that I like about BJU. It just takes <laughs> that little extra thing off of um, my shoulders. I don't have to even think about it or worry about it because I know they have a great team of people that are working together to get these textbooks out to you. What I love about the video lessons is that they're very engaging for my boys. I mean, I've got boys who wanna be active, they'd rather be outside playing, they'd rather be building Legos, exploring, but yet the lessons are engaging for them. It's kind of like watching, you know, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And I love that the um, instructor is teaching right to my kids. And um, so I love them. They love the instruction. You know, sometimes they'll take little field trips places, you know, virtual field trips. Um, they add in video clips of the things that the students are learning about, that my kids are learning. And so, I, I'm very happy with the textbooks. I'm very happy with the video lessons and all the instruction that they get. So with all that um, to say, let me turn the camera around and give you a look inside the first grade and the third grade heritage studies and science curriculum. All right, I am excited to give you guys a look inside um, the science and heritage studies for first and third grade. So we're gonna start with first grade and I'm gonna start with science. Obviously this was the one that we actually used and did for our curriculum this year. And so all I have left is um, 
the textbook because we've already used all the worksheets up and handouts and all of that. But I just wanted to show you what is covered in Science 1. So we've got science, living things, our bodies, earth and space, and energy. And again, this is one semester, but just look at the beautiful colors. I love, again, biblical worldview. We are starting with scripture and what does God's word have to say about how we think about science. So right there in the beginning, they are learning about um, science from a biblical worldview. And I love this question right here. Why did God give people five senses? This is a question to get them to think critically, to th get them to think biblically. This isn't just saying, you know, what are your five senses? This is saying, why did God give us the five senses? Let's think critically about that. And then also let's think about it from a biblical worldview, acknowledging that our five senses come from God. So this was just a wonderful course. Of course, the video lessons made everything come alive for my son. We just love BJU Press Science. So there's a quick look inside um, the first grade science curriculum. Let's go ahead and look at what you get when you get the first grade heritage studies curriculum. Now this is actually a brand new course that BJU Press put out um, in terms of uh, video lessons. It's a brand new video lesson um, this year. And so um, I was a little bummed that we didn't actually use it, but excited that my son was able to at least watch the videos. So first grade heritage studies is about family and the community. This is the textbook. There's an activity book. There's also um, student handouts. There are assessments, which are like, you know, the tests and the answer key for those assessments. Um, in first grade, through most of elementary school, I don't use the tests and the answer keys. Um, well, I mean, I just don't give them the test, therefore I don't need the answer keys, but that's certainly something that you could use if you need to, if your state requires you to give a grade in first grade. Um, something you could use for evaluating if they understood the material, but that's just something that I don't usually use. You will get a packet of handouts. Um, and then let me show you inside the textbook and then the activity book. So here is this you know, new, beautiful family and community heritage studies textbook from BJU. Again, this is a one semester course. They're gonna be talking about family, community, jobs, our land, our nation, and our history. They've got things about holidays. Again, look at these beautiful pictures. Um, love this. Starting right off with creation, giving our kids a biblical world view. And again, the biblical family. We want to teach about the family from scripture and God's viewpoint. Here we've got the community. What is a community? Communities then and now and how they change. Just, it, this just looks like a wonderful curriculum. Again, we, I had already picked something else for us to use this last year, and so we didn't use this, but again, so excited that my kids were able to watch and will be able to continue watching in the, over the summer, the video lessons, and we might even just pull out this book and uh, read through it as well, because it is, it's just a beautiful, um, textbook for first grade. So that's a look inside the textbook. And then the activity book is where that they would do some of, you know, their assignments. It's their worksheets. So there's going to be different activities for them to do in here. Just give you guys a quick look inside. All right, so that is Family and Community. That's the first grade Heritage Studies curriculum from BJU Press. So let's uh, look at third grade now. Okay, so this is the third grade set. Again, you would get, if you purchase them together, uh, two for the price of one, you'd get Science and Heritage Studies. Again, we did Science this year 
as a, you know, our curriculum. We use BJU Science 3 for science, and so all I've got left is the textbook, but let me open it up and show you what my son was um, learning about this year. Cold-blooded animals, warm-blooded animals, plants, ecosystems, matter, sound, energy and motion, soil, rocks and minerals, weather, the solar system, cells, tissues and organs, and skin. So a lot covered in one semester. Again, the video lessons just brought it to life. Right off the bat, we are starting with a biblical world view. And I absolutely love that, especially for science and history. I want my kids to be thinking about those subjects. I mean, I want them to be thinking about every subject from a biblical worldview, but I think it's so important with science and history as well. Again, nice pictures and um, information that is you know, age appropriate, grade appropriate. And like I said, he really enjoyed this, loved watching the video lessons as well. So that's a look at the um, science. Now let's look at the heritage studies. All right, so again, heritage studies we bought, um, you know, as a two for one with the science. This was not something that we actually did this year, so I have all the components here to share with you. This is the Heritage Studies textbook. There is also the activity manual that they would work through. There are handouts, um, a little bit thicker than the first grade handouts, and again, tests and answer keys there. So let me give you a look inside the Heritage Study 3 textbook first. They are starting with the beginnings of our country and looking at the Constitution and working their way to the Civil War. So that's what third grade history covers. Fourth grade would then pick up, I believe, where this left off. And again, we're starting with the biblical worldview, the Great Commission. So like I said, you know, nice pictures and you know, easy for the student to read. It's at grade level so they can actually understand what is being um, taught to them. So I'm just gonna flip through here really quickly. You can kind of get an idea of what the third grade textbook looks like. And then here's the activity manual. Um, again, different activities that they would do in third grade. I find that BJU Press is one of those curriculum providers that really um, covers everything well. I feel like there's, if, if I use, the years that I have used all BJU Press curriculum, I feel like I'm not missing anything. I think they do a good job of you know incorporating geography into it um, and just, I feel confident that all the boxes are checked, if you know what I mean. So anyways, that's a look inside the Heritage Studies 3. Um, and you know, like I said at the beginning of this video, I love that for first grade, as well as second grade and third grade, you can get science and heritage studies kind of in a two for one. So you can, um, get science individually, you can get heritage studies individually, or you can get them both for the price of one. So I love that. If you have any more questions about the heritage studies or science curriculum from BJU Press, leave those comments down in um, the, or leave those questions down in the comments below. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.